What's up, guys? Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Bitcoin at 4,001. Let me refresh that. We're still above 4,000. Not unexpected whatsoever, but very positive. Recovering very quickly. It'd be very interesting to see where this goes. Having a look at what is recovering. It's kind of weird to me. The coins that are recovering right now are ones I wouldn't have expected like status, first blood, triggers, okay, slightly because they burned like 70 million coins. See a coin, yeah, I kind of did expect that. Bitcoin Dark has been growing for a long time, privacy, but generally, these are not the coins I would have expected. I, to be honest, I would have expected more of these coins to be recovering. Edgeless, Cloak Coin, Tyrion, Rise. We've seen these things grow for ages recently, and now they're not. It just begs a question. How much of the landscape is is a pump and dump? What I mean by that is how many coins just people just get tired of? They, they, it's been growing for a long time. What's the next big thing to buy? How much of that is in play with the market? I really wonder. It's interesting if you have a look at coin market cap two years ago to see what's still around and what's not. Wayback Machine is a website. It'll let you do this. Let's have a look at the market in 2015. See how that was looking around March. Bitcoin was number one, still is, $270. Ripple, Litecoin. And then it gets a little bit weird after that with Dogecoin being super high. The market valuations are not in the billions for the other coins. In fact, Bitcoin only sitting at 3.7 at the time. If you'll notice though, a lot of the coins are no longer around they have been replaced. Some of them, of course, are still around. Some of these are still doing pretty well right now, and a lot of them are not. Something to think about. So what did it look like in 2016? Well, Ethereum was on the scene, $10. Generally, the market looking a little bit more familiar, but still quite different to what we have just one year later. It'd be interesting to hear your thoughts, whether or not you feel that the market recycles what's been hot for too long for what's the next hot thing because I definitely think there's some degree of that. How much? I'm not sure. So what's going on today in Bitcoin land? It's never a dull day. Today, people are saying it's being attacked. We have a look at this Bitcoin uh, Reddit post. Talks about the mempool and how it suddenly exploded. So if we take a look at blockchain.info, we can see that this massive wave of transactions just came out of nowhere. So let me break this down. When you make a transaction, it is added to a list of unconfirmed transactions waiting to be mined. This is known as the mempool. Miners then take these transactions, mine them, put them on the blockchain, and then you get your transfer completed. At least for now, this is the system known as proof of work. It's designed to make attacks like these difficult, expensive, and to secure the Bitcoin network. China dominates the scene right now because of huge investment on their sides and partly through subsidized electricity as they have invested heavily in hydropower, one of the world's leading hydropower nations on earth. I'll leave a link if you'd like to read more about that. So what happened? Around 12 hours ago, someone added a huge amount of transactions and offered very high minor fees to get them processed. So everyone trying to make regular transactions with regular fees are not gonna be prioritized, and this guy's huge amount of transactions are, assuming this is from one person or entity. So currently, if you want your Bitcoin transaction to go through quickly, you're gonna to have to pay quite a lot to get into the next block. It's been potentially correctly theorized that when people are trying to attempt to make a Bitcoin transaction right now, can get upset that it's taking so long and that it costs so much. Of course, others will wait, if possible, until the storm dies down. So who would do this? The finger is pointed at the Segwit2x supporter camp. Because if you think about it, if we had a raised base block size limit from one to two megabytes, these types of attacks would be almost double the cost. I don't know how much it costs to, do, to, to spam the network like this. I imagine a lot. If you would increase the base block size limit, it could cost double, potentially, pricing out most people from doing this. While it's entirely your decision if you feel that we really should increase the base block size limit or not, it's kind of hard for me to agree with 
Bitcoin being attacked as a good method to do it. 2X does not have general consensus anymore. A lot of the nodes out there are not signaling their support for it. There are a few reasons for this. One being there's no strong replay protection added with Segwit2x. Or is this not an attack whatsoever, but actually someone trying to save Bitcoin? How's that? It's theorized that this attack is actually designed to keep minor support on the Bitcoin network and not have them move over to the Bitcoin Cash network, which is due for a difficulty adjustment shortly. The idea is that if you can spam the mempool with enough transactions with high rewards for the miners, they'll be more incentivized to stay on the Bitcoin network, collect those fees and not move over. It's projected that by the time all of these unconfirmed transactions are finished on the Bitcoin network, the difficulty adjustment for the Bitcoin Cash network will have already gone up in difficulty. So it will still be more profitable for miners to stay on the Bitcoin network. And we won't experience the massive shift of hash power like we've seen in the past. To be honest, it would be nice not to have to deal with this drama. I get that we need to because Bitcoin is still in its infancy. But I'm really looking forward to the day when we don't have to worry about high fees and slow confirmations anymore. Like literally, I think potentially this could be the last year we have to experience it. Hopefully next year would be the absolute last year that we have to suffer through this. If Bitcoin is going to be the future of money, it needs to be better than it is now. And it will be hopefully soon. This is another example of why it should be. This is a story. I'll leave a link to it. This man says essentially his bank account and his money was locked up for 10 to 15 days before he could get any of his money back because someone read a check that he deposited wrong. They closed his bank account for it. With Bitcoin, you are the bank. In an interesting, although not at all unexpected move, it seems like a lot of Chinese Bitcoin traders have moved over to the exchanges in Japan. Japan has seen a huge influx of people using the platform. And you can read more about that down below. Some nice guy sent me a t-shirt. It's got the Ethereum logo on it. Uh, he uh, does have some other designs. I will leave links. I know I'm saying a lot of links down below. I'll leave links to his shop. He is based in the States, although I think he posts worldwide. Thank you guys for the support shown in the last video over a thousand likes. You guys are awesome. I will see you guys in the next one. Bro fist. Wait, is that copyrighted?